For the Japanese public, the pandemic has been a long two years. Now the country is facing a seventh wave of COVID-19, prompting a warning from the government. Coronavirus infections are spreading throughout the nation and through all age groups, especially among young people. The new BA5 variant is replacing other variants and the highest level of caution against further spread of infections is needed. Concerns are mounting that cases could rise further. The country is just emerging from a three-day weekend and many people are preparing to travel for the summer holiday season. Unlike previous waves, this time there are no restrictions on business hours or attendance at events. Instead, the government is pushing to speed up vaccination of the elderly, and it's looking to expand free testing at railway stations and airports. Serious cases remain relatively low, although hospital emissions are beginning to tick upwards. Some experts predict that the healthcare system could withstand around double the current daily number of cases, but beyond that, it could come under strain. If 200,000 daily infections are exceeded, the government might declare a state or quasi-state of emergency. But looking at our experience so far, when we see an explosive increase in cases and the medical system comes under strain, people tend to stay at home and act cautiously. So I think we would see cases peak at that point. Cases are rising most rapidly among school children and the younger generation. More than 80% of Japan's population has had two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine, but uptake for a third hasn't been as strong, especially among the younger generations. Here in Tokyo, less than 50% of people in their 20s have had their booster shot. As people grow used to talk of the virus, the government faces a challenge of managing their risk perception. Public health officials are warning that there are still many unknowns. Advocation for those long COVID or long-lasting complications of the COVID-19 is not adequately addressed in the public communications. And then the people that are not really aware that, okay, if we have a fever, but if it's just one or two days, it's okay. This is a kind of the perception of the younger generation or majority of the people. And then people that are not really aware about the long COVID. Long COVID. So uh, one point is that maybe we, I mean, public health expert or government officials put more emphasis on the uh, effect or impact of the long COVID-19. Experts warn long-term symptoms could have an impact on public health down the line. And as Japan battles its seventh wave, they say it's unlikely to be the last. Phoebe Amoroso, CGTN, Tokyo.